Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about mutation. Mutation the term which you are hearing a lot in the present scenario. So what is mutation? Today we will be learning in short what is all about mutation. The present slide shows various animation images of virus. Also on the right you can see DNA structure where a point is highlighting where mutation may occur. So here as I mentioned there are three animation images of virus in different colors or structure whereas towards the right you can see the DNA how uh, the mutation may change one particular strand and the entire structure may change. Now what is mutation? So few definition terms which we understand clearly about the mutation. Mutation is a change in DNA sequence or we can say alteration of the nucleated sequence of the genome of an organism or we can say in simple words the entire gene uh, may change or alter right now mutate to change and cause mutation in a DNA mutant mutant is an organism or a genetic characteristic as a result of mutation or we can say a living organism which is different from other living things of the same time because of change in their basic genetic structure or mutant is an organism or a new genetic character arising or resulting from a instant mutation. So there are different terminologies we can use for mutant. Also mutagens. What is mutagens? Now, mutagens are chemical compounds or forms of radiation such as UV light, X-rays that can cause irreversible change in DNA or as we learned in the earlier part of the definition change in the DNA sequence or alteration in the DNA sequence which is caused because of these mutagens. Okay. Now again you can see this animation image where the virus is slowly changing because of the mutation and how the entire structure changes. Also in the second animation image you can see various viruses which are formed multiplied but out of which one the color difference is there. This, this is just to highlight how the changes may occur within the same type of virus because of mutation. In the third slide you can see what is actually present inside a virus which makes it so dangerous right. Now uh, the first outermost part being the spike glycoprotein. Now this spike glyco glycoprotein helps the virus to enter inside a cell inside a nucleus. Now inner to it there lies RNA and N protein. So the genetic material in a virus is actually RNA. So once it enters the nucleus with the help of the ribosomes they start to multiply or in simple words they start to make the Xerox copies of itself. Then the envelope which actually protects the RNA from any antibiotic action which may take place inside the body or inside any living organism. Fourthly hemoglutinin esterase dimer. Now in simple words uh, this may cause agglutination in the body means clotting of the blood. That is why in certain cases you may hear this clotting of the blood may lead to heart attack. Right now second slide you can see how the nucleus structure which is a coil structure which because of high energy radiation can damage the gene and the damaged part of the gene is then replaced by another nucleotide sequence or which we use the term substituted mutation. Now this may cause the change in the gene or causing mutation. Now in the third animation slide you can see the uh, spirally coil structure or we can say the uh, nucleotide sequence how it is different even though it is spirally coil each of the spirals are again in a different shape which we can say the different mutations which occur and in the fourth animation we can see through the lens the four different type of viruses each time when the uh, lens is zoomed in it shows the different viruses which is mutated or the new mutated form of the virus. Clear. Also, I'd like to add over here that is 
the mutation can be useful and harmful harmful we are we are seeing present the present scenario that is the coronavirus having different mutation or strains right but also other than this it can also cause genetic disorder uh, which uh, we are we have seen in certain cases in humans itself or even certain animals or also it can lead to cancer okay now what will the beneficial point of view now because of mutations it leads to variation in this variation if it is slow and gradual it may lead to evolution so this evolution helps uh, for the environmental uh, benefit otherwise there will be no evolution there will be no variation there will be no uh, new species found in the environment so the mutations are also beneficial in a slow and gradual process okay thank you all of you